Hi guys, my name's Animus. I'm a relatively new streamer on Twitch, and this is my debut YouTube video. I just wanted to put up a quick video on Tarkov, why it's important to always reposition when you are in an engagement. The quest I was doing was Jaeger's cold-blooded quest, where you have to headshot two PMCs while having a tremor. I attempted to do this quest on Woods, which is a scav town on the east side of the Woods map, where the scav density is usually high and PMCs like to be in that area. I got lucky and ran into a group of three PMCs who were at first completely unaware of where I was. And full disclosure, my sniping game was not on point. You will not see any pro gaming skills here in this video, but hopefully I still get the point across why it's so important to reposition, especially if you are up against a team of players. Typically, if it's just one player that you're up against, flanking is still important, but it really just comes down to who's better at shooting, I guess. My initial shots were not able to secure an early kill in the engagement, so I pretty much immediately decided that I needed to reposition and try to catch these guys off guard. There was a chance that they would take the Vigle exfil, so I kept that in mind and I was checking the exfil list to see if they were in fact trying to take the vehicle out. Uh, that wasn't the case, so I kept moving north and eventually I was able to cut them off as they were moving alongside the water up toward the sunken scab town on the side of the woods. From there, I missed many, many more shots, but I eventually took down one of their teammates, and in that moment, I knew that this would most likely give me the opportunity to continue fighting them in that area. Once again, I almost immediately started to reposition, and I ended up going all the way back down to where the vehicle was, take shots from there, which did not secure me a kill, and then I had to move back up north. In total, I did three 180 flanks on this team. It's a pretty unique situation. Most of the time, you don't have that much time to do this much maneuvering. But in the end, it did allow me to secure all three kills and complete the quest and get out with their loot. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking the video. And I am just breaking into the YouTube content creation, so every little bit will help. Maybe leave a comment on things you'd like to see in the future or ways that I can improve the video quality. This is my first, but there will be many more to come in the future. I also stream almost every day on Twitch. I go by OG Animus, but you can just call me Animus. Without further ado, let's just get into the video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Perhaps what I should do is try to cut them off from this side. Odds are they're, they'll try to hug the water. Yep, I see them. Not my shots. Okay, I got one. I got a reposition. I want to run back to the town and get up by the car. Get a completely different <laughs> angle on these guys. I would confuse the <laughs> out of them. I'm kind of afraid of taking on the feet there. This is not as good as I had hoped. Oh, 
Holy sh! business. I thought just like, what the f <laughs> Just a full 180 flank. guys have no idea what is going on. How am I fucking shots up, bro? I'm, guys, I'm so bad. Guys have no clue. God. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How did I pull that off? I can fix my arm now. I can fix my arm now. Holy shit. That's wild, dude. Hi. 